get ready for the next dog reef rising. The strong shall eat the weak.
A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Still, they seem prepared for the spark, though. That sentry ward down right away. The way they position that fight, very good. Now they'll get aggressive. They dive in past the tower. Cast doing a lot of work oh here. Stuck God. inside the static storm. G gets dual. This is the first one to fall. And now big damage coming out onto BP with the Ravage from DK Phobos. They'll finish off the Legion Commander. But now Slark joining the party. He's ready to clean up. It's stunned a multitask cast from the Ogre. Getting some lucky RNG. Will just wants to bring down Funnick before he dies. The urn will be enough to secure the kill. And now he's just going to tango around, hiding the Slark as best he can, but falls in range of the tower. It's a three for four. <laughs> Now four, four, and six. So, like, does VP have a late game solution? Lil can't carry this game for a match. I only does so much. Yeah, Arrow connects on to No Fear from downtown. Lil's on the way in. Does they find this kill? Yep, they get in range to stun. Compliments of the Aether lens. And Silent will be able to get a free kill on the Witch Doctor. Oh, but now no Empire fight. is it going to be free after all? Low hot dancing, super damage to the support. The boast, meanwhile, charging Silent on the bottom side. The other strike used, Silent trying to stay alive as best he can. Aloha Dance won't be able to find any kills on the other side of the fight. Now Silent, pretty darn speedy, 423 movement this. speed. He gets away, but they want to reinitiate. They know Slark doesn't have an ultimate, and he's low on mana. They catch a boast, and the Spirit Breaker falls. It's a two for nil now. Funnick could potentially get caught here. Arrow from FNG oh. catches him. Oh my, five seconds stun. Kinetic field not going to be enough to keep him alive as Silent starts throwing in the ranged axes. This is not the fastest Roche, and there are a lot of heroes on Empire starting to converge over. Looks like they're not so suspicious as they're just playing around with creeps outside of the pit. Havos just walks in there. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, geez. Roche is almost dead. That's going to make it a 5v4. Now the Ravage connects on all four of the remaining heroes. Almost again coming in the clutch. They get the kill on Witch Doctor. Aloha Dance will move into the pit to check on the Roche HP, but Funnick puts his all on top of himself, makes a little bit of space. In the end, it won't be enough. He dies. Three dead for Empire.
skills, even if Ravage is on point. Yeah. Good. Oh, they get good arrow on Roche. Roche low, and we'll we'll stay committed for it. Slark grabs the Aegis, just get killed by the Radiant. Now the Boast charges out. Silent just goes running in. DKB on, finds no fear in the pit. We'll just go to Chopping. Gets an easy kill on the Witch Doctor. Now on the backside, FNG dies to yet another duel from FN. The Boast getting low and does end up getting taken out. Funnick as well manages to drop his hold as a last ditch effort, but Empire, now they're the ones that look like they don't have, they don't have a game plan. They're getting picked Gives apart. One for three and Aloha Dance for the Aegis will go down here for the first time at least. No Shadow Dance. This will be hard to survive. They should be able to stun and bring him down and get their gem back. Yeah, Do they have no is. detection? Oh, yeah, they God. lost their gem. They'll smoke up as well. They've got Slark in the front line with the Shadow Blade. Do they have, they, do they have a gem? They just broke smoke. There's a gem on Fogo. Uh oh, here we go. FNG leap to the high ground. Great position of both really deep into the fight. Bobo will use the ultimate, but it's not going to be enough to keep FNG alive. BKBs are deployed by the time he used it. Just the mech a little bit late. Aloha Dance. Shadow Dance trying to do everything he can to bring down Lil, but it's not going to happen. Meanwhile, on the other side, Silent gets dueled by FN. Won't be able to take the victory. It's FN that wins yet again. A dominating streak down, but it's G in the middle of the fight doing pretty big damage. Cleave starting to add up. Has to remnant away. It's a two for one. Everyone on Empire looking to be reasonably weak. Funnick will get left behind and stunned. That'll be a two for two now. The fight could have been completely turned around. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh-oh. They find Slark. There's been a Moonlight Shadow used, and they jump right onto Aloha Dan with Silent. He's in the middle of it. Static what Storm comes down. They've got human damage. Silent's dead. Why? Now the rest of the fight breaks out. Marana just gets bashed, bashed, bashed again as she gets knocked down from full to zero. Cast will break the uh, Lincolns here. And the rest of VP just kind of trying to split. Both will use his PKB. Goes in onto G. Gets another bash. Obos tries to blink out, but flips back. Can he get out of the kinetic field? Yes, he can. He might still be able to make it out. Cast will connect. Nowhere to bounce to. And he will just start to walk away. Meanwhile, on the other side, they turn it around on Habos, actually, but FN finds yet another dual target. It's Lil. Does he have the damage to bring him down? It's going to be close, but no, the big DD over lives just long enough to not hand over. Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's middle tower. structures are fortified.
Make it away. Still, a oh, tier 3 this. tower falls. Uh oh. Oh, he's. Maybe they'll fight it now. Moonlight Shadows use. They stun onto Aloha Dance. Big damage from the Ember Spirit. They bring him down. Mavosa's BKB. Funna can get on the Static Storm. And Jetty kind of breaks up the fight, but the damage just isn't there. G should be able to walk away. Mavosa's stunned as he tries to charge. Now he's forced to fight. And this BP Spirit Breaker does have a Heaven's Halberd. It buys him a little bit of time. Make something happen. They've got a double damage rune on the Ember Spirit. Not much time left, but enough that they might be able to just pop somebody. No fear, just gets obliterated. That double damage rune definitely did some work. Funnick does manage to use his ult, but it's going to cost him his life. Lil comes in for the kill. FN gets off a duel. But Sounds winning. Trouble. Not going to get the bonus damage, but they still kill him. Buyback being used here. So he's kill on the Mirana as both pops BKB and goes in. Aloha Dance back in the fray, ready to fight. Ravage comes out, connects on the entire lot of Empire. But BP just don't have the resources. Now trolls down, no buyback, out of the game for 100 seconds. And Empire will make a successful hold. The both with a charge out of the base, stunned from Lil. Might still be able to walk away here. He did pick up the Soul Booster, so spent most of that unreliable. Blink Dagger coming up soon. It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close! He gets oh. the Blink! <gasps> Lil, what a player. Oh my god. This is a hard defense to make here. If he gets dueled here, it's bad. Ember Spirit can kind of defend well. I think we'll defend, maybe. DKB gets used, but G goes in for the big damage. They'll lose their Tidehunter. No buyback on him either. He'll be coming up right around the time Ravage does in 80 seconds. Now Funnick gets stunned, brought down by the Ember Spirit. They'll lose the melee barracks down bottom. If that's all they lose, though, this is not too bad. BKB used by both. Looking for another strike, but can't find it. And it is a waste of BKB. Aloha Dance all by himself up top. Doing big damage to the tier 3 tower. Gets the kill there. Uses Shadow Dance just for objectives. Going for the melee barracks. Sidesteps the arrow. Nicely done there. Now G in the front lines. Taking some good damage from No Fear. This ultimate actually doing a lot of work. G getting low. They're going to focus destruction, and this should be Megan. Empire have taken out all the barracks now. And BP could maybe go for one last all-in effort. But that's about all they've got. Aloha Dance just barely survives through it. Dark Pack keeps him alive. No fear, won't be so lucky. They'll get the gem back. Oh, they see him. They can kill Aloha him. Dance. Oh, he wants to go in on the G. He gets the kill. Oh. Lil will turn it around, though. Five back use by G. So, could be a duel. There was a dieback or a buyback over there. So if they kill him first, that's going to be huge. Yep, LC was pushing the top lane. Now TP's back. They'll hit a free tier 3 tower before this fight really starts. It's VP that go in aggressive. Good damage on the no fear. Again, down to about half health. Now they'll pop the Moonlight Shadow. Hobos uses the BKB, but Lil, he gets trapped. Ravage connects on all five, but it'll cost Hobos his life. Now Silent just getting knocked around inside of this uh, ultimate from Disruptor. It looks like a disaster. Four down for VP. G goes down to boot. Five dead with no buybacks, and that'll be it. BP GG's out, and Empire takes us to an ace match in our opening series here in group number two. There can be no forgiveness. It was everyone else's fault. Perhaps defeat was inevitable. The hunt is over. We're won! No, we're on the other side. Oh. My skull satchel is full. A golden door thrown wide between the planes. When Dark Reef rises, I'll be waiting. Mission accomplished. The forecast calls for victory. Yeah.